One of the most phenomenal things that I love about my relationship with the, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is that we have the privilege of asking questions. And I'm a person of a million questions. I always say, God, why do you do this? Or why do you do that? Or why did you say it this way? Or why did Jesus heal in this way? And uh, over the years, I've had these ongoing dialogues with the, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Uh, one uh, that I've spoke about often is... Uh, God, how do you live in a sustained outpouring of the Holy Spirit, both personally and corporately? And uh, one of the words the Lord gave me in response to that, uh, actually two, two different words, was uh, reformation and the kingdom of God. And when he answered about the kingdom of God, he just gave me these, these two phrases, and I, I felt like it was up to me to inquire of that. And when he gave the, the phrase reformation to me, there would be times where I would actually sit for literally hours, and he would just, uh, just unload to me uh, this understanding about reformation. But he usually didn't stop there, because one of the other things that I've learned is when God responds, that uh, he is... Um, and he gives us insight into something, usually that's not the only insight he wants to give us, and he has continually given me insight into the understanding of what the kingdom of God is, how we're supposed to live in the kingdom of God, both me personally and corporately, what reformation is, and, and he, I guess, I guess I say all that to say he gives us these truth in degrees, he gives us these truth in layers. I am still I am still uh, getting understanding of these subjects. And that's another one of the things that I've learned is that God wants to educate us according to the knowledge of God. But, and, and His truth is absolute, but our understanding of it is, con uh, is uh, continually evolving. And uh, a number of uh, months ago, I read this quote by John Calvin, and he said that uh, until the Spirit becomes our teacher, all that we know is ignorance. And I like to keep that in mind because sometimes how we've learned from the world system, how we've even learned from certain institutions, good institutions we've been a part of, actually hinder us from growing in the knowledge of God and continuing to inquiry. So I, I've learned in this, this, this gift of inquiry that God has given us, we have to stay with childlike faith. There's, there's no advanced degrees. Actually, there's no degrees in this. We, we learn, we move. We operate in the truth that God has given us, but we must always stay teachable in this inquiry of the Lord, in this understanding from the Lord. And uh, Proverbs 2, verse 6, it, 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 I, I love this. It says, for the Lord, I, I want to read this to you. For the Lord, obviously I want to read it to you. <laughs> for the Lord gives wisdom and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. And one of the things I've learned is knowledge is, is not, uh, is not sufficient in of itself. If we have knowledge but have no understanding of how to apply it, all we do is have knowledge, and knowledge without w the ability to apply it, we can become very dangerous to the world. And uh, I, I, I believe that we are in this season, and this is my encouragement to you today, we are in this season of unprecedented release of wisdom from heaven for the people of God. Unprecedented wisdom on how to see uh, your family members come to the Lord, how to pray that into existence. Uh, unprecedented wisdom for the healing of nations. Unprecedented wisdom for the healing of cities. Unprecedented wisdom to lead your churches and your ministries. At the beginning of the year, the Lord uh, just shared this with me. I think uh, maybe the third week of January, he said this to me. He said, I'm releasing grace to my people in this season to have unprecedented wisdom and understanding for the times and the seasons in which my people live. I saw an angel of the Lord in the earth, and it was sent as a ministering spirit to bring wisdom, understanding, and revelation to the people of God to, to, who have an opened and a positioned heart. So that's what I would implore you today. Have an open and positioned heart. What's an open and positioned heart? God, whatever you say, I'll do it. And then he'll ask us, you go, oh, I don't know, I didn't know you said that, but agree with God in this season. And then he continued, I, uh, I saw a chest in heaven that God wants to give to the people of God in the earth that will cause them to be distinguished and noticed and are able to rise above every circumstances that they find, every circumstance contrary to the will of God. Uh, so, uh, even as I elevated my servant Joseph in a nation, I'm elevating my people in this season, and I want to bring divine grace to my people so that not just nations could be saved, but entire cities, regions, denominations, and networks for the glory of God. So this is a time 
of unprecedented wisdom and the gift of inquiry is part of our inheritance. So I bless you in the name of Jesus today to have a position heart. I bless you to not only receive knowledge, but understanding on how to apply it. And I bless you to rise above and be the distinguished person that God has called us to be. We know that we don't, we, don't beca- we don't become distinguished people or we don't desire to be distinguished people just to be distinguished people. We desire to be distinguished people so that the name of Jesus would be glorified, just like Joseph. 